So you said I'm not allowed in your yeah, store yeah, because yeah, yeah. I don't like this sandwich. Yeah. The bread was not good. No, 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 no. we don't refund. Because, because you ordered. You ordered, you said this bread, this and everything. We you made. guys have bad yeah. customers. You, you have I mean, bad customers. Can you tell me what's the problem? What's no, the no, problem? Can you tell me what's the problem? It's true. I don't like it. No, no, no. It's your problem, not our problem. You guys not have our, bad service. No, no, you have no, very bad. I'm going to report you to Subway. No, no. Just know that, okay? We don't care. I'm going to report you to Subway. Wow. She did. They really didn't care. I mean, that guy was literally ripping up the freaking bread like it was a puzzle. That's crazy. I mean, they make a good point, though. Like, Subway, you pick everything. Everything about your sandwich, you picked. So, like, I wouldn't give a refund, right? I don't know. In your policy where it says I have to have a bottle that no, fits. No, I can't because huh? each point of fitness is different and each point of fitness can come up with their own rules and that is my general manager's rule. So I have to stick by her rules. You you have it you have it nowhere where anyone can see it. It's just an arbitrary rule that you pull out of air that you can't show me in writing, that you don't have posted anywhere in your in your gym. Are you going to be working out? You that? didn't read me anything stating what you just said. What? For what I was asking. Something about a bottle? What kind of gym would you have, like, rule would you have in a gym about a bottle? Like a water bottle? I don't even know. But uh, I call, I call her bluff. I think she is making this up. <laughs> She's like, my general manager. And she got like more like progressively nervous as he kept filming and stuff. Like, lady, you pulled that rule out of thin air. Well, let's be real. You have my ID? No, I just have my card. I need an ID. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You guys can stick my card in there and do the same thing. I need an ID. I just bought it from her. I huh? just bought I it from her. You can do it under ID. my phone. I don't want a store credit. Then put it back on my card, Allie. Okay, you can come back on the store manager too. I thought you were the store manager. I'm not a store manager. Oh, so you lied to me. Okay, oh. I'm going to put you on YouTube, by the way, too. You're gonna, <laughs> no, you're, you're not. Oh, yeah, I'm filming you right now. Look at me. Allie, I'm filming you right Ew, now. Ew, that's so annoying. Call him. Call him. The whole call the cops because someone's filming me thing. Everyone always tells me in the comments that apparently in the US you can film anywhere that's public. So I don't think the cops will do much. But I think you do actually need an ID. Well, some people will ask for an ID to make sure it matches the credit card. But like, honestly, I could have used like a friend's credit card to pay for something. So my ID won't match it anyway. So she could have done the refund. Can you take it Not going anywhere. I came to get food and I have to smoke. And that's not fair. I'm calling the cops on you. Call them. What's the I problem? I'm gonna see where you're going and I'm gonna call the cops on you. I don't care. <laughs> call them. Right? <laughs> what are you all even fighting about? You're a piece of sh Where are you gonna go? Get me off your freaking recording now! I don't even know what you guys are fighting about, but notice how people get very mad about being recorded. It's not even about they're mad about the situation. They're mad that they're being filmed, probably because, I mean, I wouldn't want to be filmed, you know, without permission. But when you're angry and you're acting some type of way, you definitely don't want to be filmed. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see, I knew it was coming. This means nothing to me, trust me. I don't give a f about you or none of these. Exactly, so quit talking to me like that. Oh! Man. Well, you don't you know what you talking to. Ross, you ain't you nobody to me. You ain't nobody to me, bro. You know who you are, wow. bro. That's never gonna change. Never forget that. I'll never know who you are. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is the kind of vibe and attitude that I personally go through. He's not wrong. Do I think that's good customer service? Absolutely not. You should never talk to a customer like that. You know, the whole customer's always right thing. Even if they're wrong, pretend they're right. However, he makes a good point. Like you as a customer, like you're nothing to me. Okay, this is not my company. You're nothing to me. I'm not gonna know who you are after an hour of my shift. Oh, Walmart. Hey, 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 watch your language. Watch your language. Oh my gosh. Shut up. I'm a customer. I don't care. 
Yeah. There are so many employees involved. I don't think I've ever seen like a Karen freak out where so many employees are involved. She had people yelling at her from like every angle. She must have been intense. We we didn't see the wrath of the Karen, uh, but we did see there was a lot of yelling and a lot of employees who just said, "No, ma'am, not today." Kardashian saying that you. Huh? Because you had the nerve to report your food as never being received, so I can get in trouble and have to pay for it or lose my job. I did not report nothing. If you have a problem, you need to contact DoorDash instead of coming to my job. Oh! <gasps> well, like I said, you need to go. So you're saying you got your food? You need to leave me alone. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're saying you got your food? That's fine. And if you're you can talk to me. I want to call wow. you, so please do my fun. job. Wow. I mean, how do you handle a DoorDash thing? I wouldn't show up to someone's work and start yelling at them. That's a sticky situation. I honestly wish I saw the end. I want to know how this plays out. So we're not going to do that. So here's your two options. Ooh. You can take the head off like Clinton told you to, which I had told him to tell you, wow. or you'll be off the flight. Okay, can you tell me now, which, tell me now which one it is. All right, relax, sir. You just got here. You, can I respond? Can you tell me where that's posted? How know. would I have known that? I'm the captain of the airplane. That's where it's posted. Oh. And Delta has guidelines. Oh. I don't have to explain to you. You can take it off or you can leave the airplane. Wow. That captain means business. Damn, he was very calm, composed, but like firm and angry, and he was not messing around today. Technically, this is not a retail employee. However, it is an employee and a very important one. And I like his attitude. Oh my God! Oh my God! Do you see this? So good. Oh my God! I'm ne I never thought nothing like this would happen to me. She just tried to run and hit me. Oh. And now she. Wow. Oh my gosh. Crazy lady. In case she attacked me and try to say I attacked her. It's just so good. You guys, if you haven't seen the whole, the video is minutes long. You have to see it, okay? It was Victoria's Secret and like she like tried to hit some woman and the woman's laughing and filming and doesn't even go near her and she just loses it. It's like a kid throwing a tantrum. You gotta watch it, it's something special. Thank you for making my pleasant experience here a memorable one. You have a very I have a very bad what? Would you like to repeat what you just said? Oh. Yeah, I'm actually having the story in case in front of me on my face. No, he's still in front of me recording me with his cell phone. California apps. There you go. It's just all about the record. I do want to know what that woman said, to be honest, when she was like, you have a very bad, mm, I, is it attitude? What is it? I want to know. Let's all guess in the comments. I think it was attitude, but that just didn't seem vicious enough. I had it on video camera and I also had oh, video when I said, when I, when, I told you, when I told you, when I told you, when I told you, I did what exactly he did. Okay. He, he was calling me a liar. I don't lie. Okay. I own 25. Listen, let me give you something. Let me give you something. I own 25 software. I don't need to steal $5 or $10 from somebody. Okay, I'm not saying that nobody oh. stealing $5 from me. I'm telling you that it was a mis it was a miscommunication. Damn. So, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the owner. I'm the owner. You're I'm not the owner. owner because I asked you earlier and you told me earlier I that am, you were I not am, the I owner. Am the owner. Ooh, is he the owner? That was juicy. I like that guy though. He's like, I, he made a good point. You know, what do I need to steal $5 from you from? Like, I'm the owner here. I didn't take your money. But then she kind of admitted that it's a miscommunication. So it's like, okay, then let's end the convo, get our sandwich and be on our way. I am, you're live. You're live? Because I'm sick of being discriminated against and I don't have a mask. I have a mask and a, a medical exemption. I have a mask and a medical exemption. They just shut the door on me. Oh, here we go. I want your name. I want your names. I'm suing this whole Ooh. store. I'm suing you. I want your names. Regina, who else is on staff right now? 
Regina, this is Ooh, discrimination. The manager actually came. I forgot to point out that that is in fact not a live stream and she's lying to you because any live stream, there's things happening on the screen. Like you'd actually see it in the bottom that you were live streaming. So she's lying. Just a form of intimidation. That's all from a nice Karen. This sweater keeps choking me. Retail employees. That was it. I was saying rude. It was retail. Well, you know, you, you guys had a party the other day and you guys were all over our back lawn. So, and we don't say a word. Your wife is instigated this with the kids. She sends them over here on purpose and antagonizing. I'm telling you, yes. I'm in kidney failure. We've been fair. I'm in liver failure, and I don't need this harassment from you guys. I live here alone. I will call Glenn. Oh my gosh. To you. I don't do anything wrong. Call Glenn. My family. You have my had life. you've had guys people all over our yard back here. I had my grandson. And we haven't Sunday. said a word. Oh my we gosh. All stuff piled over on our lawn. <sighs> The other day, it yeah, doesn't matter. We have been fine. Your wife is not. You're fine. Is the your one that has created the problem. I am not creating the yes, problem. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Your kids come over here purposely and antagonize my dog because your wife has sent him over here. I've heard her out there. What is happening? We had a party I last summer, I and you guys alone. have had a party. I live here alone. I don't trust. Well, I don't I will cause call trouble with them. Please do. Oh my gosh. At first when this started and he was like, you at a party and people on my lawn, I thought it was gonna be like some college students or something. No, no, they're talking about grandkids, which just shows, you know, no offense, but their age. Y'all are fighting over this? The poor woman said she had liver failure and that she doesn't need this and she had her grandkids over. <sighs> I hate to say it, but when people get older, they get more bitter. I mean, I'm almost 30 and I'm way more bitter now than I was in my early 20s. Oh boy. Y'all, I can pretend to know what's happening, but no one in the video is speaking English, uh, and I don't know what the heck is being said. There's a lot of yelling, there's a lot of people, and there's a lot of different languages. I don't know what you all could be fighting about as neighbors, but that just seems like a lot. <laughs> and they're all adults. You would think like maybe college students would fight or something, but like adults, like, what are you mad about? You hear that noise? Yeah. That's the noise of a loser neighbor. Oh my gosh. I think it's our neighbor, please. <laughs> oh, you think so? Yeah, because Aww. sometimes they like music. Let's, let's, let's listen to it. This is at one something in the day. It is very loud. I care in the world. Yeah. <laughs> this is white trash. Oh, I don't, okay. Finest. I guess you yeah. Driving that stinky cheap car. I mean, I just say blasting this music. I just don't think that's necessary. Like, okay, listen, the music's loud because I can hear it. Um, but like, she's literally with her young child who's repeating what she's saying, and she's saying words like white trash and cheap car and things like that. It's like, we don't need to be saying that, especially teaching your kid those words. It has nothing to do with the color of their skin. Also, their house is nice. So you're like, oh, cheap car, they're so poor, this loser. It's like, bro, do you see the house the music's coming out of? That place is nice. And the car. The car is nicer than cars I've had. I don't care, I'm on my property. I can videotape you anywhere in this world. Okay. Or in this country. Right. Follow up, read, watch TV. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. I'll show this to everybody at my work because I tell them all about you every day. So I want them to see what I deal with every day. <laughs> What's happening? Kay. This is so stupid. Yeah, you say whatever you want. I'm just going to tape you. You have a good evening, young man. You too. And uh, while you're videotaping, uh -huh. span out there to the popo. Uh, that you said I was burning oh, shingles what? and there's no shingles on the roof because there was no roof. Mmm, mm, you're an idiot now. Okay, keep going, keep going. I'm an, I'm an I got a lot of people I'm going to show this to, so keep going. All right. They all know about you. Go, keep going. Every day it's a story. <laughs> What'd your neighbor do yesterday? Span out to the popo. There's the popo right there. I 
that came and told me to have a good night. What and that is I'm not this? doing nothing wrong. So screw you, buddy. What? Screw you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm? Was this even an argument though? I've never seen someone so calm. Okay, okay. Like he just said about three different like varieties of words. He was very calm, but annoying, but, but calm. I was expecting like a little more heat by how he was making that guy sound, but he's like, all right, okay. I don't know, where's the heat? No, get, well, I'm, not, I'm not explaining nothing. You see nothing. that listen, red fence post over listen, there? The I have no have idea seen it and been there. That's fine. That red fence post matches the paint on your property over there. That's fine. And we seen you move it. Okay. What? I, I, done, I told you before I didn't do it. Say what? You're done. What do you mean I'm done? You're done. You don't know who I know. Oh. Call your boys. Call your Porsche know, boy. I know where he lives. You gotta step up. Right up across the property. You gotta get off my property. Please. Right across the bridge there at Gulfstream. I know where that motherfucker lives. You smell like alcohol. <laughs> oh oh boy. Mother because I seen it all. They're up your Okay. You want to play games and change my fence post? I'm listen, I'm not doing you anything. You're totally a crazy. Guys nails from this side of the fence into that side. That's a whole lot going on. This is all over a fence post or something, but it's a different thing. Like he's throwing threats. He's like, roll up with your boys and I got mine. It's like, all right, we don't like, let's grow up here. And two, he's like, he smells like alcohol. And it's like, mm, but is he driving? Was that his car? Cause then I'm concerned for other people if he's drunk. So yeah, a lot of problems here. Cop show up here today. You punched me in the eye. <gasps> so she she did? You know that you did. Yes, you did. Oh my god. Are you gonna lie to a cop? Are you gonna lie to the cop like you're lying to us? Do you think that I wasn't standing right here and so was my brother and so was Al? Oh yes, you hit him. Are you crazy? Yes, that's the win. Do it again. I got you on video right now, you crazy. You're going to jail. No, let's not do that. Hey, bro, let it go, bro. You back the right Oh, wow. Guess what? Bro, 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 we can't finish this shit. She out here. Oh, damn, we got to watch this shit, bro. Yeah, oh, oh my gosh. You're not allowed to park yeah. up here and block And you're not allowed to be on my property. That's and too much. Garden, it's just too much. Okay, that was a lot. It started out very serious. I was like, oh my, I was very concerned that hands might have been thrown. They were provoking, they were talking about they wanted them to so that the other person could go to jail. <sighs> I'm just happy that he stepped away. He did the right thing. And then she just went off. Honestly, I kind of tuned her out halfway because she was just yelling a bunch of nonsense about her garden or something. I'm illegal? No way. What's is it? I didn't agree. I didn't agree to it either. Precious Karen. Karen. Precious Karen. Karen Martin. Karen Wilkinson Marlowe. Mark. Holy! She's got three last Never names. Married a lawyer. Her name is Marlowe. Oh. I thought it was and Martin. Richard that's what her name's Martin, not Marlo. Her name is Marlo. <laughs> oh. Her married name is Marlo. What oh. is this conversation? Can you pay to have it fixed? Shut up. Oh my god, you guys. Well, I <laughs> I'm laughing just like the guy filming because it just seemed like what is this conversation? It seems like the type of conversation two drunk friends have with each other at the end of the night where nothing makes sense, people are slurring words, and it's just chaos. Oh. Get on the street. Get on the street. Oh. Get on the street. He had a fist there. Let's go. 
Let's go. Let's go. Get out on the street. You want to call me a What? You want to call me a Let's go. Yes, you did. Look at this. You told me. Get. Go on jail. Really? Try and prove it. Try and prove it. It's on tape? Yes. What's on tape? I just what, said You called me a it's on tape. Wow. I'm actually really happy that that was on tape. Sorry. Even if he did call you a <laughs> it'll get blurred, but whatever. Uh, you can't throw hands. Too many times I've been called. Okay. <laughs> no one's actually ever called me that in my life. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Well, maybe behind my back. Who knows? Not to my face. What <laughs> problem with you? Yeah, look, we've all got problems with you, mate. What a shame. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you bloody Oh. oh no no no. Hey, why don't you blood get out? Get off me! Why don't you bloody grow up the pair of them? And you ain't got the guts to say anything against him! You're no god this bloody one there's a pair of you! Really? You just want to damage everybody's stuff, don't you? Keep on damaging the cars all the time. Liar. Oh, I'm not a liar. You tell against us. Flooded our garden. Why don't you piss off indoors and look at your cameras? <laughs> you got cameras as well. <laughs> okay, we can stop it. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what's going on. Something about damaging, but the little fart noise <laughs> the guy made. It's like, honestly, in those moments, I guess you kind of have to do, like go back to your childhood when you're like, and like just to, not that it gets them where it hurts, but it makes them even more irritated because you're not taking it seriously, you know? I love it, I love it. Gross. So are you, you can't cuss. You have to be wearing proper swimwear. You can't be here past 10 o'clock. Turn that phone off. No. Why? Because you want to disrespect me? You want people you're to know? You're disrespecting me by arguing with me about the rules. You're screaming in we my face. We have rules to follow Sir, around here. you are screaming in my face. Yeah, yeah. The cops, if you really called them. I did call them. I'll wait for them. Supervisor out. Okay. Okay, and I will file a complaint while he's here. I, I have tried to reason with you. No, you haven't. No. You came in and told me to leave as soon as you walked in. I you didn't even say, hi, how are you doing? Who are you here with? You said, you need to I leave. Said you You're can't, trespassing. I said, you can't have guests here without your parents being here. Okay? Why? Huh, okay, I, I, you know, I was trying to figure out who was getting into who. Actually, like, was was the person filming trying to get over the fence? Or was this guy trying to get over the fence? I think he was trying to get over. And if so, like, it sounds like my guy just really wants to take a swim. Because I think that they were at a public pool, but I'm not sure. Comment down below, actually, who was trying to go over who? Because because that's all I saw. But I'm not sure, like, who's, like, what was the gate here? You know? <laughs> like, my perspective. I'm not sure. They don't want to walk now because they want to be entitled Including this right here, that wants to no. Oh. No. Oh. No, I have every right to step. I don't have. Then guess what? I have every right to step into the fucking kitchen without you touching me. That's the best Nobody part of the military. Wow. No. 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 Because I'm in the military, I don't have to. That's the best part of my job. Wow, is that the case? If you're in the military, you can go into a kitchen and like, that's just okay. Well, e even if that's not the case, like clearly this lady is on one right now. Like, like she just hasn't got her breadsticks or like, I'm not sure, like she hasn't got her meal yet. So she's feeling, she's a little hangry. You know what I mean? She's a little hangry right now. Yes, I do. Let it go. Let it go. I'm driving. Let it go again. <laughs> oh no! Give me some days! I can't give you anything to eat now. What? Because I can't, you have to, you have to wear a mask. That's okay, you wear a mask. You need to stop work. Oh. I have a mask in my pocket. No, that ain't gonna give me a f***. You ain't gonna give me a f***. Wow, man. You know, I really feel for those poor guys who are just working back there, just like, wow, this is minimum wage right now, and this lady is on the counter screaming at me, like, what did I do to possibly deserve this? That sucks, man. Obviously, she just really wants her wings, but you cannot be getting up on the counter and kicking things, lady. This isn't soccer practice. We're in a restaurant. Chill. Touch you. Here, I I'm gonna get... No, you're probably going to give it to me. 
Are you gonna leave? Look at you. Are you what gonna leave the shit. store? Are you gonna leave the store? Are you gonna leave the store? <laughs> Wow, that's like the full Wicked Witch of the West thing going on there. Like she's straight out of the Wizard of Oz, man. He's gonna throw some water on that thing and she'll melt. Like, are you gonna leave the store? Are you gonna leave? Like, oh, get out! <laughs> like, leave me, demon! Show workers. She tried to hit me. She tried to hit me. Now I want security for you. Oh my goodness. What is going on? You should have thought about right that before now. you did what you did. Telling me that, um, first of all, the manager already said she tried to attack me. I want her to, be, to leave the mall. I don't understand why she can't be escorted out the mall. She tried to attack me twice. Wow. Wow. Okay, I want to... You know what? That, that really reminds me of, like, that reminds me of a kid who knows that they did something wrong. And it's like, they're like, no, mom, please. Don't take my toy away. Don't put me in timeout. But they know that they did something wrong. So I, I bet that she did probably throw some hands. It's too bad we didn't get that on camera. All right, guys, let's not... Go ahead. I made a citizen's arrest. Get in the car, please. Okay, I'm getting in the car. Get in the car, please. Guys, I made a citizen's arrest. Can you back arrest. up just a bit, please? Thank you. Gentlemen, okay, I made a legal citizen's arrest. All right. He's no, in yeah. custody. All right. You guys have to take him into custody now. No, we don't. Yes, you do. No. Yes, you absolutely do. Okay. Guys, what, what's going on? Guys. Please get in the car. I will. No, you'll get in now. Guys, sir. You'll get in the car now. Why? You want to talk to a lawyer? Get in I the would car. love to talk to a lawyer. Get guys. in the car, man. <laughs> Dude, just get in the car, bro. Like, you can continue this when you're in the car and they are forced to listen to you. I'm not sure what happened here. I don't know what his citizen's arrest was and he's, like, in custody now. But clearly, like, this guy's talking mumbo-jumbo nonsense right now. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, just get in the car, guy. Touch me. It's your golden retriever. If I want anyone to touch me, it's your golden retriever. Oh, don't we all? Don't we all, lady? Yes. Let go of my arm. You are definitely insulting your kind. Definitely. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two. <laughs> Man, you know, it's like, first off, obviously she's doing her own thing right now. But the biggest thing that I got from that video is just like how much I want to be touching a golden retriever right now. No. <laughs> Is this a movie theater? <laughs> wow. How did they get to this point, guys? I think that's a movie theater. I'm not even sure, man. They must, they must have ordered too many movie theater drinks. Because you can do that now, actually. Which is kind of cool. Why don't you say we refuse your service? No. I choose to yell, and you cannot stop me! <laughs> Bye. Please return to your service of Satan in your ignorant belief that you are right. That's cool. Bye. Please, Bye. in the future, respect my rights. No one else's. You will never get my six foot space. This guy is so messed up, man. He's like, you must respect my opinion and no one else's. Chill, dude. You just lied to me. I lied to you about what? You said I had to have an ID to be here. No, you That's not what I said. Yourself. When you're legally detained, you can play back on your video. When you're legally detained, you have a duty to identify yourself to a police officer. Okay, so they're saying I'm legally detained, which I was not, that I have to. Can you try to run her without a bird? Like, you know, possibly. did not. Sign up for this. I am a Christian woman of God, and you are not going to put your disgusting rules on me that are false and not true. 
I will not have it. I believe in God, so I am exempt from the rules, everybody. You heard it here first from uh, what looks to be, I would say, a Karen.